There's a guy who has decided to come online and share a story that he has of a woman that had a BBL that he is with, dating, situationship, whatever you may want to call it, and is saying that the hygiene of this woman is extremely poor. We're going to listen to the story, but if you don't know what a BBL is, it is a Brazilian butt lift, aka making your bums bigger. Now, I'm not a surgeon, but I did do the research. The fat can enter the bloodstream. Having the fat travel to your lungs or brain can result in either severe complications or even death. So be warned. Now let's get into the story. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. So you guys may have seen this online that BBL smells is trending. And there are a lot of reasons for that smell, but I think that I will tell you guys a story about a girl that I dated and uh, I took her out and she had had a BBL. Her body looked crazy good. Like she had it done right. Her whole body looked amazing. So we linked up and we went out, had a really good time. We went to a Lakers game and then went to a spot by LA Live and had some dinner, had a really good time. And so she was like, so what you trying to do? I was like, yeah, let's go back to my place and relax have a nightcap and see where it takes us. So we drive back to my spot. And so light the candles, get the music going, open up a bottle of champagne and we sitting there and we're having a nice vibe. And, um, you know, we start getting into it and everything and clothes start to come off. And she wanted to give me a little show. So she was like, just stand right there. And so like, she took off everything very seductively, got on my bed and started twerking that thing, right? And I was like, what the hell? Because at this point, she got nothing on. And I smelled this smell, and it hits my nose. The shit was like a, a salt of my nose. I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm like, uh, baby, uh, not to be rude, but I know we had a long day. Um, you're not smelling that fresh down there. I think you guys... I think you need to get into the shower and uh, go ahead and uh, freshen up. And she looked at me so embarrassed, did it as gently as I could. But what I realized is if someone has had a normal size behind for all of their life, now they got this big BBL, they, they have to reach back there and really clean. And if they're not used to doing that, they might not know that, hey, you sweat differently everything is different when you add that much more meat back there. That thing can't breathe as good. So she ended up getting in the shower and everything. I had everything that she needed. And uh, I ended up clapping them cheeks. That hygiene is poor. And I even want to go as far as saying maybe it was poor to begin with. And now that you have something you're not used to, like he's saying, I agree, like it's gonna get worse. A lot of people found this extremely offensive and there's more to it, we'll get into it. But I just wanna say that just ladies, when it comes to hygiene, just clean yourself. BBL or not, just make sure you are good down there. They did have a long day. So, I mean, it's fair to say before you participate in anything, when you've been under the sun all day long, go ahead and take a shower. I will say I am not an advocate for BBL. I do not support it. However, I think it's just poor hygiene. Let's get into it. And it was much better. But some people, the smell, I think her smell was coming from just not being able to get back there and clean properly. But some people's smell is coming from what the excretions and what's coming out with the fat that they've actually put in to their bodies. So... You know, BBLs for me, it's just for fun. I, that's Those women are for fun. Like, you can't take women with BBLs, in my opinion, to parent-teacher conferences. They big old ass knocking over the little kids' crayons and stuff as they try to walk through the parent-teacher's conferences in them small-ass classrooms. That's not really for me. That's for fun. That's for, you know, weekend fun. You know, wifey material is just regular, natural women that you can build a family with and give a great life to. But that's one of my stories on BBLs. Honestly, I would say because you are not married yet, it still is for you. It is temporarily for you. And you might say for the weekend or whatever, it's for you right now. But once you get older and you find that one, then it may no longer be for you. Let's move on to a lady who is going off on this dude. BBLs be smelling. 
I just got tagged in a video of a guy doing a story time saying that he was about to mess around with this girl. She gets on the bed and proceeds to twerk and then twerk me in, come in his face and it stings. And he blames this on the fact that she got a BBL instead of the fact that he was messing with a woman who got poor hygiene. Like, I need you to be so serious as a grown man. Like, how are you going to really sit up here and blame that on the BBL instead of the woman having poor hygiene? I don't know if this was for clickbait, but the 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 lifts that y'all will go sometimes with the BBL conversation is a little outrageous, right? I didn't say my piece on it before, but I would never go as drastic as to cosign silly stuff like this. Like, be so for real. If a woman don't know how to properly clean, it don't matter whether or not the body's natural or whether or not a surgeon performed it and gave it to her. If she don't know how to properly clean herself, that's the end of the story. And it's saying a lot that you proceeded to go ahead and smash a girl who don't know how to properly clean herself. You can sit up here and cap and act as if, you know, the BBL had anything to do with her poor hygiene. But the truth of the matter is you're a nasty man, right? Because you still, you still slept with her regardless of you made her go take the shower or whatever you claim you did. I doubt you did that if the story even real or not, all right? This dude be saying a lot of wild stuff. And he don't even give me dude who really pull girls like that. Right? Unless he got money, and I don't even know if he do, I I'm not getting that he gets girls like that. The stuff he say online be way too outrageous. A dude who get girls would never get online and say something this goofy, like girls who got BB Hills be smelling a certain kind of way. Because dudes who get girls have messed with enough women to know that any of them can have poor hygiene. The guy said that the BBL was preventing her from freshening up, but I do agree with her. This is past having a BBL. This is just a woman who lacks hygiene. She has poor hygiene because there are some natural women. I'll just use this continent, for example, in Africa. I'm from the South of Africa. I'm from South Africa and I've seen natural BBLs. They're natural. They don't actually go under surgery and they're clean. They don't smell. They don't have a, you know what I mean? Like it has to do with poor hygiene. She just so happens to have a BBL. But I will agree, if you are a natural girl and you have a natural bum and you go to have a BBL, the hygiene you had as a small natural girl is going to be different from when you are a big girl. You have to be aware of these things when you do decide to have a BBL. Now, there are some women who have BBLs that honestly look natural. They're not extravagant. And you can maneuver yourself around it. But once you made the decision to have a BBL and it is bigger than your normal natural butt, you have to take extra long when it comes to making sure that you don't smell. And as a woman, I know we're all different, but I know if I smell, if I've been out in the sun, I just feel and smell like outside. So I need to take a shower. And regardless of this, just know, it all comes down to hygiene. If you've been out in the sun and you know that you have a partner, go ahead and take a shower. Whether you smell or not, it's just hygiene. And then when it comes to him still sleeping with the lady, even though he said these things, that makes you nasty because you never know, right? It may be far from a BBL. It may be an STD, an STI. It may even be an infection that she has and she's leaking. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on the next one.